Good morning, good morning and welcome to a brand new week here at CTV. We're really excited to start this Monday with you, Craig and myself. Okay. So often we get a chance to it's work not, together. It's not, is it? I'm very, and we're hit all day. All day today. Triple Leanne and Craig day. I know. Ah! Gosh only knows what's going to happen. It's going to be extravagant, it it's going to be exquisite, it's going to be all of the E's today. I just know it. Um, now, we have got a fabulous event show starting for you today and and it's going to be full of sweet surprises for the rest of this week and every day this week we will have a new sweet surprise for you today's sweet surprise triple points oh, Craig wow. Boop. triple points now I know that's lovely and that's lovely to have that sweet surprise it's gorgeous and of course you've got that fabulous launch of the simple soon to be renamed something yeah. else creator <laughs> yes. cards we'll talk about that later um which i'm very excited so about I. but i didn't think it was enough craig okay oh, oh what have you done what have you done oh i didn't think triple points was enough um and i thought well it's me and craig all day and we're kicking off the event and so we need something a little bit extra special that's another E. Another <gasps> E. Do you know what the extra special is, Craig? Oh, I, I genuinely don't. Oh, Do Shall I tell you what I've done? Do you tell me? Uh, I put my foot down with a firm hand yesterday because Sarah's on holiday. Mm -hmm. And when she's on holiday, I like to do something a little bit naughty that she finds out about when she gets back. <laughs> so, for this week until midnight on Thursday, if you're in the US, you can take advantage of a $75 cart for free shipping. I've reduced it by $50, Craig. Wow. It should be $125, not today and not until midnight Thursday. For the next four days, $75 max minimum basket spend and you get free shipping over to the US instead of $125. And of course, with that new service that we've got with you. I know, I know. Oh, it's there in a flash. It's so quick. Isn't it? It's is so quick. So you've got your sweet surprise of triple points, but you've got my personal little sweet surprise to you of that 75 basket. So fill your basket, have a look and see what we've got. I mean, for example, I know that we've got buy three, get one free on our permanent tape pens today. You need those in your basket. We've got this fabulous launch that Craig's going to be showing us. You need that in your basket. There's a showstopper for that as well, where you just have to spend five pounds or five dollars more and you get a little bit of extra special. So that's to look forward to. We've got Monday Makers today, which we're really excited about. And of course, we've got our launch day. We've got the gnomes coming back. We've got a whole set of edibles. We've got some fabulous shaker things to show you as well we're going to be shaking Shake. and shimmying all Shake. over the place um i'm excited i am as well so that's what i've done that's naughty now craig mm -hmm. what have you got in your shows today right here so it is for me it's all about today's brand new launch now if you've been a follower of crafters campaign for a while if you've been a follower of me you know that i love my creator card dies i love my dies where you've got the big space now you touched upon it a moment ago liab mm. With all due respect, yeah. they're called simple creator card dies. Yeah, and we didn't do a very good job of that in product development. There's Craig. nothing simple about these. So we've got six of them. Now, when it comes to the designs of these, we're going to show you a few different ways within Wake Up Call, but then later on in launch day, bang, I'm going to hit you. Gildan Flakes. We're going to go in with our ink and we're going to go in with our stencil and we're going to be going in with all of our different resist effects by using the dyes, using the die oh cuts. My word. I am loving the confidence techniques. with that this oh, morning. Can't wait. Bam, can't wait. It's going to be in Bam. there. I'm excited. Because within these ones here, what you've got is you've got that create a card die. Now, create a card die gives you that outline die, that outer edge, so you can cut in or you can cut out. The designs of these are all relatively big in the size that you would maybe expect from a create a card die. So that means paper piecing is a dream. It looks gorgeous. But then what you've got inside each one is accent dies. You've got three dies. This one is the love heart. You've got a large, a medium, and a small. Cut in, cut out, layer up, shaker, all of that that you can then be doing. Here's a prime example here that we've got where that larger circle nest and die has been cut out of the center. The medium and the small has then been layered in the middle, but with foam pads. You can do all of your techniques with these. And do you know what? 
All you're going to need to do is put a sentiment on these. You're letting the actual design do the talking. So we'll do something not similar to this, but similar as in inking and mm -hmm. layer over the top. Nice. We'll do something simple or straightforward like your paper piece in, but to make it look fantastic. Yeah. And then in launch day, we'll do it. It won't look like this, but we'll do something similar where we're going to bring in our acetate our double-sided adhesive sheets. We're going to bring in our Gildan Flakes oh. with our Create a Car die as well. Wowzers Absolutely trousers. <gasps> and that's just the launch, launch day. We've got Monday Makers coming your way where we've got our Edgeable dies as well. You can do all these different things. Gorgeous. Been busy, Craig. Busy, busy bee. And then we're going to, we're, we're, we're getting into the summertime. It's easy. We, we, uh, what? ZZ. He's now called ZZ. Oh, it's called ZZ. ZZ, yeah, because we did a show where uh, Ben and I sang, he's got feet and he knows how to use them. You know, like in ZZ Top, you know, she's got legs. Oh, yeah, now that you've that, sang it. I but know. she hasn't got any legs. But she ah. has got a beard like ZZ, so he's been renamed ZZ. ZZ, OK. Yeah. Right, that makes sense to okay. me then. Yeah, that does make sense. There he is with the guitar, look. And the guitar as well. He's a rocker. He's a rocker. And you can have fun. He could be with a guitar. He could be fishing with his fishing rod. He could be on the barbecue if you want to. That is so much fun when it comes to these. So some of these we will have a look within Wake Up Call, but it is predominantly, it's going to be all about that simple creative. So it's going to be a fabulous day, it's going Craig. To be fabulous. I'm really excited. We've got some gorgeous stuff today. Today is definitely the day then with our sweet treats. Remember, anything that you're going to buy from what Craig's shown you, you're going to get triple points on. Um, and that's UK and US. In fact, that's all of the world, any Crafters Companion member, wherever you live, triple points. And then US customers, you've got your £75 basket spend instead of £125 to get your free shipping. Mm. So now is the time to get your sweet treats. Now, it's also National Love Your Pet Day. And I feel that's really appropriate for me and you, Craig, because we love is. our pets, don't we? Oh, we do indeed, yeah. We love them. And we've got photographs of them to share with you. What we're going to ask you, though, is to join in and let us see your pets. So send in your photographs, please. Let us have a see your furry friends and your family. Who do you love more than your family members? That's furry. That's what we want to mm -hmm. know. Uh, and we want to see. Also, want to know, have you got any unusual names for your pets? So yeah. share your unusual names. And then, who has an unusual pet? Let me know. Do you have a tarantula in the wardrobe? Ooh. Do you have a goat in the sitting room? Ooh. Do you have a parrot in the kitchen? <gasps> Let us know. We want to know all we about do it, want don't to know we? All about that, yeah. Because we're going to be loving your pet as much as we love our own. Um, OK, so I think we've had enough chat now. It's time to get started, isn't it? Here is your showstopper deal for you on these fabulous, fabulous, soon to be renamed Simple Creator cards that we've got for you. You can see you've got a fabulous saving there. Um, and if you're a platinum member, only 58.37 or 67.84, you've got a 35% saving on that, which is absolutely fabulous. Um, and of course, you've got the option to pop in your two ink pads and your tape pen as well, which we'll have a talk about. That's your showstopper. So you get all of the dies, all six dies, plus your two ink pads and your tape pen is your showstopper deal. If you don't want the showstopper, don't know why you wouldn't for $5, why you wouldn't want two ink pads and a tape pen. But if you don't, then you can get the dies on their own. And the dies are on their own. You can see on the screen there, that is your price without the two ink pads and tape pen. For me, for £5 or $5 more, which is the price of a coffee, you're going to get your showstopper and get those two ink pads, which is anthracite and parakeet, and your permanent tape pen in there as well. Now, if you're not in the market for that, I know we've got a deal on um, buying two as well. Go and have a look on the website. You'll see those. Um, two for £30 or $35. So if you just want to pick a couple, you can do that too. So we've got all of the ways for you to access your favourite new dies that Craig's going to be launching for you today. Uh, and I've got the designs here for you to have a look at. Um, and they're really lovely. I think, I think we've called them simple, Craig, because the lines are quite fluid yes. it's not an overly lacy design no it's not it's a delicate design Very. but what it does do is leave you the ability to craft in those spaces exactly. yes which is why we've called it simple mm -hmm. doesn't describe them very well at all and we'll all have a little talk to ourselves in product development about that. But when you're trying to think of a name for every new development... That, that must be hard. And there's 276 of them in a year. It's, it sounds 
to become a problem yeah. um, and so that's probably what we've done but you'll see you've got this this is my personal favorite I think this is great for Christmas because I think it reminds me of fairy lights it does doesn't the little it fairy light bulb yeah. so it could be every day or seasonal that it one could. really lovely and you can see it cuts in the front as Craig was explaining earlier for the front of a card you've got your nested dies which go in the center there or you can cut out that beautiful panel um, and these are going to work on your quarter US and also on your quarter A4 sizing and then we've got the square design here very Moroccan very Moroccan very uh, indeed and could be masculine as well it that could, one depending yeah. on the colors and the technique that you use with it with that lovely diamond in the center we've also got um, timeless foliage love this one Mm -hmm. I think this one's really classy. A couple of little foam flowers around the outside exactly, yeah. and it's going to look gorgeous, isn't it? Perfect for your paper piece. Perfect. Crying Perfect. out to be paper pieced, I think, that one. And this one is our Pretty Petals. Again, look just classically elegant and timeless. We should have called them timeless Time creator cards, timeless. Craig. Yeah. But, but if you've the... got any better ideas, get them in the comments and let us know. But we should have called them timeless because I don't think there's anything about this that screams a time of the year, an occasion, a technique, a style. It doesn't matter what your poison is when it comes mm -hmm. to decoration at home. These are going to work for you, I'm absolutely certain. Your oh, oh, upside down. You're also getting uh, your Rose and Heart, which is called Rose Garden. Very René McIntosh-esque. So a bit Art Nouveau, it Art Deco. It's gorgeous, isn't it? I really love that. Very stained glass window feel to it as well, I feel. Mm -hmm. Love that one. Um, and then you've got your Circle. I love I love a square design with a floral and then a circle in the centre. I think of the, the juxtaposition between the square and the circle. I really absolutely love. And then these florals on the side, that could be a springtime clematis or a Christmas could. poinsettia. It could be. So again, will transcend all of the seasons, all of the styles, and you're getting all six of these. So you're getting that square one there, which is called Fancy Floral. We're getting our heart here, our rose garden. We're getting our pretty petals. We're getting our timeless foliage. We're getting our traditional trellis. Oh, traditional trellis, most popular on its own, Craig. Not surprised because timeless, mm -hmm. elegant and usable, masculine and feminine, great for paper piecing. And then you're also getting your dainty doodles, my personal favorite. I absolutely adore that one. Glitter, paper piecing in there, superb. Um, Craig. Yes. Have you got some stuff? Let's have a look at them in action, should we? We will do, yeah. So I'll kickstart with showing you some more other finished samples first. And then the first for the first one, when I say I'm going to keep it simple, and you're not quite simple, what we'll do is we'll do one where we're going to go into black and I'll show you how it can cut in and we can cut out. Once I've cut it out, let's do a little bit of a background with pigment ink pads that we've got on the show as well. And it shows you how very simply you can combine them together and make a beautiful card. But if we look at this one here, now this is Twisted <coughs> Easel. Bianca's made this one. Because you can still go in with your concept. If you've got your template, template library, which was just a flyaway success, as we knew it would be. These are going to be good as well. But this is where, like Leanne was saying before, even bringing in your flowers, whether they're going to be around that circle that you've seen within the circle one, or just within that actual square, it's beautiful. Going in and cherry picking sections when it comes to the paper piecing. I believe, and I think, you will be doing a lot of paper piecing when it comes to these. Because even if you want to paper piece the lot, it doesn't take long to do the paper piecing your concept cards again, so you're getting extra dimension. You've got your creator card image on the front, but then you've got your nested dies in the middle as well. I know I did show you this one at the start. I really like this one because you're cherry picking actually the, the tips of uh, the buds in with the green and then going in with this one with the craft, going in with your sentiments as well. And then going in with that rose, that Rainy Macintosh style. Going in theatre cards, diorama cards that you can see there. Absolutely beautiful. So, when it comes to the dies themselves, let me move them there so I don't get them mixed up. We're going to go in with that floral fancy here. So, we've got our outline die and then we've got our detail die. So, we've got our two inner circle matte and layer dies as well. 
These all come with your stitched edge as well. So it gives you another take when it comes to the design. And then let's go in with a piece of black card to start with. So what we can do within this one here is let's show you, I tell you what, let's go in with a card blank just now. So it's simple white card blank. We're going to put the die just the die, decorative die on its own and not the outline. So what that will then show you is the create a card aspect. That is by popping onto your card blank through your die cutting machine. That's it, done. Sentiment, nothing else. You are good to go. So let's show you that within the card blank here. This one just happens to be seven by seven, but again, you can come down to six and a half. You can come down to six by six if you want to, of course, with the size as Leanne was saying, but that just runs through. And it's one of those where if it is very simple and quick when you're creating these ones, you're still going to get that, oh, wow, did, where did you get that? And then when you say, I made it, you're like, no way. It's like, yeah, absolutely. So if we take these ones, now this is where, if I was doing this one at home, I would keep all these bits because these are the perfect size bits to do your paper piece in. But if I just carefully take that one off of my low tack tape, and with this one as well, what you'll find within a demonstration I'll do with this one in launch day later on, what's fun about this paper piece in, Leanne, is because you've got different areas, you've got different visuals, so you've got the flower, but then you've got your circles yeah. in the top and the bottom. You've got your corners there as well. Yeah. So you've got areas that you can select. You can do it all up, pick and choose. Exactly. Love that. Absolutely. And then if you're going to put acetate behind to uh, stabilise it as in to paper piece on top, you know, your circles you could raise with your glue gel or a foam pad. So you're going to get extra dimension. But that, with a sentiment, black and white would look beautiful. But of course, what we are going to do, we'll move that one to the side. Let's go in with a piece of black card. And then we're going to go in with my brush. We're going to take these bits out because we're going to use them both together. And then I know when you get these home, uh, hopefully by watching launch date and of course wake up call, at home, Leanne, you're going to be like, right, I'm going to get my pigment ink pads out. I'm going to get my tri-blend pens out when I show you later on what you can be doing with your tri-blend pens with them. So let's go in and then I'm just going to pop them ones in together. I'm going to secure them with my low tack tape so that the dies can be ran through at the same time. They're not going to jump. If you are a little bit unsure on, or uneasy about doing that, please feel free to do them separate. But as long as they're nice and secure, you're going to be absolutely fine. And at this stage, this is when you can have an additional play with your nesting dies because you can then cut apertures out there. So that could be a full aperture. It could be a mediocre aperture. It could be a smaller one if you want to. So you've got, once again, options. And that's what this die set does, this die collection does when it comes to the versatility of it joined by so many people today, Craig. Uh, Diane, hello to Diane from East Tennessee. Hello. Uh, we've got Charlene Harris from Carolina. Hello, Charlene. Terry, good morning to you. Um, we've also got Bethan, uh, Bethan Lyon. Good morning, Bethan. Kirsty D, good morning to you. Lois Giafis, good morning to you in Ohio. Zoe Carver, Jerry Johnson, Jacqueline Daniels, Val Lloyd. <gasps> Lord. Alison Lee, Zoe Carver, Hedgehog on YouTube, Charlotte Everett, Pamela Dashwood, Robbie Hedrick. I mean, I could go on. You're all with us this morning. I'm so happy that you've joined us. I'm sure you're getting this fabulous deal that we've got for you today. And I'm sure you're getting your triple points. Um, why wouldn't you? And the sweet treat, of course, is triple points. And don't forget, all of you in the US, your mm -hmm. minimum basket spends now only $75. A sweet treat from me personally to you to get free shipping until midnight on Thursday. Brilliant, I'm very excited. isn't it? It's a Monday and a half, isn't it, Craig? It really is. What a way to kickstart the week, for sure. So good. All of these benefits as well. And certainly for you guys stateside, when it comes to that free shipping, with your creative cards, look at popping in more of your multi-purpose card, you know, your watercolour card, maybe your Centura Perils, because you're going to be using them for sure. But there's that first one that we've done that's cut straight into our card. And there's 
Our second one that we've done, using the two dies together, Beautiful. where we've used them together. But remember, you can then be cutting in with your aperture dies, or then you can start to build on top. Absolutely. Uh, Charlotte, she, she agrees with you, Craig, Charlotte Everett. She says, when I look at these, I feel they could be classic. Mm -hmm. Something you can use for a variety of occasions, and they're never really going to go out of fashion or style. No. We agree, Charlotte. Definitely. Definitely, completely agree. And you actually said earlier on when you were going over the boards, Leanne, you were right enough. I was just thinking about the one that you that you like, the swirls that yeah. are, you could put the little lights of that on it. What about going in with your purples or your oranges and then maybe some of your materials like Halloween for that, that cobwebby sort of feel to the background? That would be fantastic. I think your creativity is going to be able to go Definitely. wild with these, isn't Definitely. it? Definitely. It really is. And while you're inking that up, I've just got a very funny message. Okay. from um, Hedgehog on YouTube. Uh, you know, so we did ask for funny names, didn't we, with your pets and what kind of pets have you got and your pictures and do you have a tarantula in the wardrobe? Let us know. Uh, Hedgehog, she's got two Jack Russells. So have I, Hedgehog. I've got two Jack Russells. Um, she says, I have two Jack Russells called Socks and Splodge. Oh, love it. She wanted socks and pants, but husband was not keen on shouting, pants get down when I'm about. <laughs> uh, I agree with your husband. Yeah, I think maybe he might have been arrested or had a word from the local law enforcement agencies. I think so. Uh, socks and splodge sound gorgeous. Do let us see a picture of them. I Hedgehog love I'd that. Love to. What a great name. What a great name. Yeah, you, you do sometimes hear uh, pets' names or dogs' names, don't you, Leanne? And you yeah. think, I don't know if I could stand at the door shouting, shouting on yeah. the dog, whatever <laughs> the name is. <laughs> yeah, they're great, some of the names. Oh, I tell you what Sarah Brown says. Oh, she needs to let us know. <gasps> Leanne and Craig, I have news. She's got news for us, Craig, Sarah well, Brown news. on Facebook. Yeah. Um, she's received her template library today. It's arrived in Melbourne, Australia. So thank you to everyone at Crafters Companion for sending so quickly to Australia. That's brilliant. That's only about a week. And, it's normally a week and a half. It's gotten there in no time. Yeah. We're really pleased for you, Sarah. Let us know how you get on with it. That's brilliant. That's, That's looking so gorgeous good. there, Craig. So I've just gone in with the two That's pigment, pigment ink pads. It? Yeah. Nice. So and what cardstock's that on? So for this one, I've just gone into our white multi-purpose multi cardstock. Great. That's because what, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take advantage of the fact that it's a pigment one. Now, because I really want to lay the colour down, that's why I'm going in with my finger dauber. No, I'm not. I've not gone in with my finger dauber. I've gone in with my blending tools. Yeah, got you. And then I've just alternated the honey pot and then also the fuchsia. Nice. And I'm not worried about the centre because you're not actually going to see the no. centre. And it's good for keeping it still while you're doing it, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. It is. Fingers. I'm obsessed with clean fingers. Yeah. Um, Pamela Dashwood on YouTube, she's got Zazzy and Diesel, her two cats sitting on her lap, watching us today. Watching, watching now. right now. Um, and she's also got a guinea pig, three rabbits, two horses and two, two ponies on the farm. <sighs> yeah. Marvellous on the farm. I love a guinea pig. Guinea pigs are one you, of my favourite little yeah. animals. Love a guinea pig. They are cute. They, they are really cute. are cute. I used to have a guinea pig when I was, uh, when I was little. When I was little, yeah. Quite a while ago. Mm. Quite a Mine while was ago. was called Tildy. What was that? Tildy. Tildy. Yeah, because her name was Matilda, but my sister at the time, who was probably about three, couldn't say Matilda. Right. So she called her Tildy. Um, and Tildy used to climb, climb up your dressing gown arm. If you sit in your dressing gown and have a cup of tea on the morning, she'd go up the sleeve, up the sleeve, and then sit on your shoulder like a parrot. Really? Yeah. And she would just sit and, like, squeak. <laughs> I have a little in the middle of your earlobe because she was happy to see you and just on your shoulder while you're having a cup of tea on the morning. She was absolutely gorgeous, Craig. That's, that's really cute, that. That is really cute. I know, I, I, just so many animals. They're so intelligent, aren't they? They're so lovely. All they want is just love from you. That's why I love the dogs. They just want love. All they want is the love from you. And they chase a ball. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Be Betty Providenti on YouTube. I hope I've said that correct, Betty. She says, good morning to my favourite presenters. Love watching you both. I learned so much. Thank you, Betty. Thank you. That's really kind of you. Craig and I love being here. And more importantly, we love being together because we don't get to do it very often. How are you getting on there? I'm getting on good. So what I'm doing is I've just gone in with my heat tool. I know we've got this on the show as well. This was just clear embossing powder. But what you could do is if you've seen myself and Becky on Saturday morning, 
when we'd done play your crafts right and I had the confetti border dies, I done a technique with our pigment ink pads where I done something similar on a smaller scale but done triple embossing. So you could do that if you wanted to. I'm just doing the one layer because this is, I think I've cut this to seven by seven. We'll double check in a moment, but just letting it melt. We're going to get that nice shine as we work our way around. I do love the shine of a pigment ink pad. Um, Zoe Carver on YouTube says she's got a dog called Sproglet, and she's the baby. A horse called Bogey, call him the bog monster. <laughs> we call him the bog monster. Um, and, in a, and a lizard which ended up being called something I can't say on live TV. Oh. Okay. So if you would like to know what uh, Zoe's lizard is called, Please do head along to the comments on YouTube and have a look. And have a wee look and see. <laughs> I'll be doing that after the show then, having a wee look. Oh, it's of course, I mean, it's not too bad. Johnny's just had a look and gone, <laughs> yeah. in my yes, ear. He's just yes. laughed so in the ear. So it is good. Um, I'm not going to say it live, but it's not too bad. But I'm going like, to go have a look for yourselves. Charlotte Everett's got, two, got ragdoll cats. Oh, my word. I, I really wish I wasn't allergic. I love ragdoll cats, but I'm allergic to all cats, sadly, and I can't have them. Um, they're called Maximus and Leo. Oh, you've sent pigs. Good, we'll have a look. Um, my sister-in-law has the opposite. A sphinx cat, no hair, and it's called Pooper. No, she's not joking. A sphinx cat called Pooper. Pooper. That's lovely. That's a good one, isn't yeah, it? it is. It's another one I can imagine just standing at the living room door at that. Yeah, just on shouting. guard. Mm -hmm. I'm intrigued with that one. Intrigued with that one. I can't wait to find out some more of the funny names yeah. that some of the animals and pets have got. This is going to be brilliant. Loving it. But there we go. So I heated and melted that one up and I've just layered that onto a bit of black. Now look at that with the pigment ink pads. Isn't that gorgeous with that shine coming through? Absolutely exquisite. Blended them together. Lovely. And then let's bring in my card blank. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this onto my card blank first. Mm -hmm. And then what we're going to do is I've already cut my circles. I'm not going to do that again because no. we've got lots we want to show you. And yeah. these are just your die cut circles that you've got, your nesting dies, and it's the same plate configuration. And was that of the course. permanent tape pen you're using? That there, was Greg? indeed. So we yeah. have got a deal on the permanent tape pens today. Um, you can buy three, get one free, uh, which is saving you 25 so if you want to head along and have a look at that, you can buy three, get one free and save yourself 25%. That's so great. that's good. I think that's good for as a little basket builder. It is, isn't it? If you're in the US and you're wanting to get your minimum spend up to 75 to take advantage of that free shipping that I've arranged for you, yeah. um, you're never going to not need a tape pen. So I think keep an eye on that deal uh, over the course of today because that would be a good little basket leveler for you to get you access to that free shipping. Definitely. It really, really is. And this is it, as you say, is taking advantage of it. Right, so what we could do, if we wanted to, and I tell you what, let's quickly do this one here that I'm waiting to show, because you've then got options. So if we come in, so this is one that I had actually already pre-done, and I'm glad I've done this, because I've just thought of this idea as well. And this is what it's going to be about. It's going to be about showing you and playing with the different things. So what I'm going to do with this layer that I've already done, as you can see, I did go in the centre with some colour, not that I needed to. But while we carry on and finish the demo I originally had planned, I'm going to let that cut. And what I would recommend with these, although it's not something you have to do, but if you're going to be incorporating colour, if you can get away with adding a little bit of height, taking them out, you know, if maybe you're going to be posting them or that, so you want to do it flat, which is absolutely fine. But if you add a little bit of height, what that's going to also do is give you a natural shadow within the black. So before I stick it down, can you see that shadow just in the background or hitting against oh, Craig. that glimmer of now, that? Now, honestly, if you just move that to the side a second, you know how you've done that colouring in those quadrants there? Mm -hmm. You could, if you're, if you're a new person watching, be forgiven for thinking, but that's just like blotches of colour. How the dickens is that going to work? And then when you put that black overlay over the top, mm -hmm. it transforms it, it does, doesn't, doesn't it, Craig? It? It into really something does. really exquisite. It looks classy and it looks elegant. It does. What it, and I think that's great for everybody at home to see that you don't have to be a blending master no, with not these. Not at all. 
Uh, no offence intended, but you don't no, need to be a no blending attempt. master with these at all. You don't. Because it's going to look gorgeous when you put that overlay. It on. is. Isn't that superb? It is. And then what I've also just done there, Leanne, although I'm going to use that one, and I tell you what, let's pop it on now. And as I say, I'm adding it on with that little bit of height. I'm not putting any pads around the edges here because I like that free flowing motion when it comes to the edges. You can, of course, if you want. But this one I'd already pre-prepped in case I didn't have time to ink. Look at this one. So now what I've done, Leanne, is I mm -hmm. have cut what I've coloured and then you can be using that one instead. So <gasps> look at that difference. So that was Incredible. what I've done there but cutting that instead. Yeah. And that's heat embossed, just the one layer, but it's cut like a dream. And that looks gorgeous as well. It does, absolutely gorgeous. And then I've got these ones that are already cut out, simple, black and white, that we can see just here. So you could either layer them all together or take some of your sentiment stamps that you've already got. That could just be the one layer. You don't have to use all three or then what you can do is if we bring in some of our sentiment dies, I've got celebrate here, and then all that I'm going to do is I have to layer that one into the middle there, layer these three up, and remember you can use these to cut into the center apertures of your creative card dies. This one, let's go in with... Doesn't that white give a beautiful pop? It does, yeah. Yeah, it does, incorporating that in. Now, that would work if that was that same colour in the back, but yeah. that white, it just makes it go bang. Yeah. And then you've got, again, more options. You might want to just leave the two and have the celebrate, or you might want to go in with the white, with the celebrate, and let's just put... I'm absolutely loving that, Craig. And the deal you can see on your screen, everybody, is the showstopper deal that we've got for you today, where you're getting all six of your creator cards, two ink pads, you're getting anthracite and parakeet, and one of our permanent tape pens. And you can see you're getting that for your 72.96 or your 84.80. So if you are in the US, you're already getting your free shipping with your 84.80 there. Of course, you can see your platinum price on the screen. So if you're a platinum member in the US, please go and pop in that tape pen deal to your basket, which will level you up and get you the 75 minimum spend for your free shipping that I've arranged for you. Let's just have a look at Craig's card again because I was talking over the top of it. I do apologise. That's okay. Craig, that's absolutely exquisite. And again, forgive me for saying, incredibly easy and simple is, to do. It really um, is. I feel we're going to be Gino to Campo, the two of us today. Yeah. Which is going to be minimum effort maximum impact mm -hmm. which is what he says all the time with his cooking minimum effort maximum taste i think it's absolutely going to be that because yeah, for sure. that is exquisite uh, and i think any one of us at home beginner or more advanced crafter is going to be able to achieve that and then it just goes to go in and thank you for that leanne but it goes to show that that creative card there's that option cutting into it there is your black card you know cutting out but then once again there is it. And this is a prime example. That's it being cut out with the outside die. This is it. You know, just the decorative die, but you cutting the card to the square size Beautiful. that you want. So you can have your thicker border all the way around if you want. So lots of options And you know the white one, one you just showed there, Craig? Imagine that with a little bit of just a vellum, a pastel vellum behind yeah. it as a wedding invitation. Or what about oh, as well? What absolutely about gorgeous. A little like drop shadow. A drop shadow. But Absolutely then, beautiful. Leanne, that could be a coloured... A coloured drop shadow. Drop shadow. Incredible. In Look at that. Little pass in the wedding colours. Bit of vellum. Little oh, floral on there. Yeah. Little you're invited. Mm. Absolutely incredible. They really are classic, timeless and elegant, and they're definitely minimum effort, maximum impact, these dies. We absolutely love them. Craig, I think that card was stupendous. Thank I you. really, really do. Now, you've got to get your showstopper. It's busy. It's busy today. You can see the details on the screen there for you. Here are all of the dies. We'll have a look at the designs again, just to remind you. You can see your pricing on the screen there for you in that showstopper deal, where you've got your 72.96 or your 84.80. And you've got two, um, and we're just laughing because Craig almost banged his die. As long as it's on the back and not on the cut edge, I'll let you off. Well, okay, that's fine, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> you've got permission, Craig. <laughs> you can see you're getting all six of those dies with your two ink pads, anthracite and parakeet, and your table. That was so funny, Craig went, better not do that, Leanne's in the building. Um, and you can see there, just for extra £5 or $5 that you are getting those two ink pads and that tape pen. And if you're not a platinum member, 
here in the US, you're already at your minimum basket spend. Remember, I've done that specially for you over the next four days to midnight on Thursday. Um, and so please take advantage of that. Sarah's on holiday, I'm not telling her. I just put my foot down with a firm hand. I've just did it for you. Um, and so you'll get your free shipping, which is fantastic. Uh, and of course, if you are a platinum member in the, in the US, why not pop your tape pens in with the showstopper deal? And that will get you up to that 75 to get your free shipping. Here are the designs for you again, just very quickly. You can see there we've got our timeless foliage. Absolutely adore it. And I'm hearing from Johnny that everybody loved, loved, loved that demonstration, Craig. Thank you so much. This is the dye that Craig used, which is the fancy floral. We've got the rose garden for you, of course, as well. And we've got the dainty doodles, my personal favourite. We've got the traditional tiles, fantastic for masculine cards also this one and then we've also got the pretty petals um, which i think is absolutely exquisite that design it really is you're getting all six in the showstopper plus your two ink pads and your tape pen <coughs> excuse me if you don't want the ink pads and tape pen we have got another deal for you um, which is five dollars or five pounds less and you can see that coming up on your screen for you now <coughs> there you go so that's just your 70 67 96 or 79 80 that one does not have the ink pads and tape pen in for you for an extra five pound or five dollars i would be going for the showstopper but i do want to share those details for you and if you don't want either of those and you just want to pick your two favorites pop along to the website you can pick any two for 30 pounds or 35 dollars um and you can get your favorites that way if that's what you would like to of course now we've got photographs coming through so um we're breaking the website i've got i'm going to show you mine and then we'll i'll show you i'll show you mine and then you can show me yours right okay so i have to show this first because before i show you ted i feel i feel a little tink needs a little this is that they were having a spa day mini and tink here um they've got their little they've got their little white dressing gowns on yeah look so that's mini and tink they had a little spa day they had the teeth done their nails done they had a little wash and blow dry oh, so yes they had an essential oil massage on that day craig the pair of them um oh it's gone off hang on i'll get it back little uh, tink sadly hang on their back little tink i beg your pardon little tink is uh, sadly no longer with us because she was very very poorly we lost her last year but she's still very much in our hearts so i'm going to show you now um the usurper to tink's throne lord ted here he is we've rescued him um so this is little lord ted <laughs> he's got his little jumper on isn't he gorge oh, he's so grown gorgeous. a little bit since then that was when we first got him can you see minnie in the background keeping in watchful yeah. eyes she's just like what are you up to i'm 13 you're 12 weeks and i'm not sure i like what you're doing um, she's definitely mothering them and I'll just show you the next one there they are we've been away this weekend there they are she's looking after him again little Minnie and Ted oh my gosh absolutely love them to bits yes look how much he's grown yeah yeah yes, I think he's five months no he's seven months now Re really yes flown flown so uh, Minnie did, didn't like at first she didn't like a little puppy in the house jumping all over her but she is absolutely loving him now. So there, that's uh, Minnie, Tink and Ted. So do show me yours. Get your pictures in. We'll have a gallery later. Be like Tony Hart if you're in the yeah. UK. We'll, we'll do... do, 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 do. <laughs> we'll do a Tony Hart gallery of all your pets. Can't wait to see them. Um, right. We've got a watery active 10 piece ink pad deal for you, which I'm really excited about. So if you're wanting to do the kinds of effects, we've got a pigment one as well, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, that Craig was just showing you with that card, ink pads are what you're going to need. Um, and you can see the deal on the screen, which for 10 of our Harmony Water Reactives, you're a platinum member, £32 or $48, a 30% saving is absolutely incredible. And don't forget, you are going to get your triple points on this as well, is our sweet deal that we've got launched for you. So the colours you're going to get, we'll start off, you've got Parakeet, then you've got Grasshopper, you've got Spa Blue, you've got your Crushed Velvet, you've got your Seal Brown, my absolute favourite for doing vintage and antiquing techniques, along with one more which is in here and I'll tell you when I get to it. You've got your Twilight Grey, you've got your Anthracite in here, 
sandstorm that's the other one so sandstorm and seal brown together to do antiquing and vintage distress looks absolutely incredible you've also got in here the smoked pearl and pumice and they're also great for working together to do some distressing you've got great standard good stash building colors in here with all 10 of these um, for doing your kind of more soft effects and then you've got your real pops of color in here too you're getting all 10 of those saving 30 percent you can see the price on the screen there for you which is absolutely fabulous so that's your harmony water reactive We've also got a 30% saving for you on our opaque pigment ink pads. We've got 11 ink pads in this bundle for you. And again, your triple points are going to be applied to your, your account um, after the order because that's our sweet treat for you today. The colours you're getting are Crushed Velvet, Lagoon, Honey Pot, one of my favourites. I'm going to put that there, one of my favourites. I'm going to talk to you about that in a second. Grasshopper. Fuchsia, one of my favourites, that can go there. Plum Jam, Straw Bale, Lemon Tonic, another favourite. Oasis, another favourite. Parakeet, another favourite. Uh, Pink Tulip, another favourite. Right, okay, so you've got, you've got, mm, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of my all-time favourites in here. I mean, I love the others too, but these are the ones I go to because using your Fuchsia, your lemon tonic and your parakeet together, you can create myriad tones because basically that's your CMYK. So you can get beautiful oranges, you can get purples, you can get grass greens, you can get teals with these, you can get violet. Oh my word, the colours you can create with these three are exceptional. And then adding in those other tones, it just opens up that colour palette for you. So you're getting all 11 of these in this bundle. And that is for, if you're a platinum member, 35, 20 or 52, 80, which is an absolutely deal of a deal with your 30% off and your triple points of course now we've also got some century pearl for you today which is on a good offer for you um, and we've got quite a considerable amount of this a 15% saving this again for me is a great basket leveler because remember you've got that $75 if you're in the US uh, minimum spend now which is $50 less than usual it's normally $125 I've twisted some arms banged my feet pulled rank and said we're doing it for this week um, and so you've got that deal where if you've seen something you like you just need to put a little bit of something extra in your basket go for your consumables go for your cards your tape pens your ink pads your things you're going to need to replace at some point in the future that's a great way of getting your basket up so you can get to that 75 and get your free shipping and of course you get your triple points as well so you're getting all of this century you're getting 60 sheets in total with this six piece collection and if you're a platinum member you're only paying 16 pounds or 28 dollars plus your triple points which is unbelievable i've taken one sheet out because you don't get to see that beautiful beautiful centura pearl sheen when they're in their plastic packets look how absolutely exquisite that is on that purple it's 310 gsm it's white on the back so you can do it for your box making and for your card bases if you want to die cuts like a dream absolutely like a dream it's fantastic so you're getting your purple you're getting your beautiful fuchsia you're getting your cherry each one of these has that same exquisite shine that i've just shown you on the purple you're getting your mink one of my favorite centura pearl colors ever such a versatile neutral and then my two favorite centura pearl colors ever in the history of the world are men are the dark chocolate and black pearl <gasps> we all need a bit of black pearl in our lives it's absolutely incredible all of those 60 sheets for a very very good bargain price saving 15 percent of your 16 pounds or your 28 dollars including your triple points now you're loving the showstopper absolutely loving it so i'm going to ask our craig are you ready to do another demonstration craig i'm ready if you guys are, are ready. you ready if you're ready on your whistle craig let's go let's go on my first 
On whistle. your whistle. Thank you, Chris. Do you know what I, I just, just found like to out? Hear you say whistle. Do you know what I just funny found out yesterday? What? Actually, funny enough. You know how they're rebooting Gladiators in the UK. I've heard. Yes. Do you know who the presenters are? No. Bradley Walsh and his son. <gasps> That would be fantastic. Yeah, I just found that out yesterday. Yes, that would yeah. be great. I love uh, Bradley and Barney. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's uh, okay. just when you said that there. Was that, oh, yeah, we'll have to watch that. that. It's like it's nostalgia. It like is, it isn't is. it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. First whistle. All right, let's, now let's cut in, but we'll cut into a box. We're going to use some of the water reactive inks as well that Leanne was just showing. So I've cut my white multi-purpose card here to six and a half by eight and a half, and I've scored at three quarters of an inch all the way around, and that was on the box lid side. What I have also done is I have uh, got my black matte cardstock here, and I'd cut that to the same, but then what I've done is I've scored three quarters of an inch on the box base side. Yesterday I was on with Debbie Robinson, and I'd done a master class on scoreboard, so you can always go back and have a look at that. But we're going to go in with uh, one of Leanne's favorite, the Dainty Doyle uh, Doodles within this one here. Dainty Doodles. And what I'm going to do is I'm only going to use the actual detail die itself. So I'm going to line that up within the middle of my actual uh, cardstock. And then what I'm also going to do, let's take my low tack tape. I'm then going to go in and then I'm just going to kind of line that up where I want that one to go. And then I'm going to tape that one into place just here. And then we're going to go in with my large plates here. We're going to run these ones through and then that's going to cut the detail in. And then what we're going to do is the outer die, we're going to cut that one separate. So we've got a separate mat that we can then ink with the actual water reactive inks. So you don't have to use the outside die always with the detail okay. die. It could be a separate component that can be a mat and a layer. That, if you cut that twice, score at the top, that could be your card blank mm. for your detail to go on. Yes, so that would be amazing. Options, and that's what yeah, it's called. I like that. I love about. options. Um, Debbie on YouTube says she's got a dog called Oscar who gets called Pooch, a cat called Felix who gets called Puss, and another two cats called Magic and Mischief who get called Magic and Mayhem. I think you, well, I'm like that. She's my mini, uh, we call her Mini, and more affectionately, she gets called Moo, and she knows her name is Moo, because right. Mini Moo. So we can literally shout Moo, and she comes. Yeah. Um, and she'll come more frequently to Moo than she will Mini, even though her name is Mini. Really? It's bizarre what we do, isn't it? It I is. It's very bizarre. bizarre. Yeah. Bizarre. Uh, Betty Providente. Betty, hello. I have four Salukis and a Whippet, and they're all show dogs with an attitude. It's a house full of fun. My son has a Whippet called Elton. Oh. And he has got attitude too. He's a lovely boy. He's a big softy. Whippets are such kind, gentle, yes, they are, aren't gentle they? Yeah, animals. They, they really are. are. Uh, Kate McQueen on YouTube. She has got a pug called Rumple, a Dachshund called Snow, a Gecko called Norbit. I absolutely love that. Norbit. Norbit. A tortoise called Raphael, a frog called Hardy. Oh, Laurel died. Oh. oh, I'm so sorry about Lo Laurel and Hardy, the frogs. I'm so sad about Laurel. Two rats called Tony and Bruce and about 40 fish, including two puffers. <gasps> You've got a veritable zoo. It is. There, um, Kate. I love that. Um, oh, my word. There's so many things. Oh, Alison Lee on Facebook, Craig. Mm -hmm. She says, I was only going to buy two of these, but Oops. somehow the showstoppers in my basket. It's what happens. It's a phenomena known as great deals on it CTV. Is. That's what the phenomena is called, especially when there's triple points and a lower basket spend for free shipping. It's the time to take advantage. It, it always really is. is. Mm. It, it always is. You know, when you've got that extra um, incentive, you know, and you know, it's it's one of those days as well, I feel, Leanne, that have a look around you know obviously down the line whether it's in a few days next week whatever it is you're going to need at some point more multi-purpose tape runners tacky glue foam pads so then take advantage of you know that benefit certainly for you guys stateside they get the free shipping as well just have a look you know and it's we're, we're getting to the to the end of the month so it's like maybe a little treat for yourself when it comes to stocking up now, what I did do there, I meant to put in that larger of the nesting dies while I ran that one through my box lid. But then we can see here, we've now got the detail that's been cut into the lid. 
with our aperture as well. Now, that was the largest of the nest and dies. It could have been the medium one if you want. It could yeah. have been the smaller one. You wouldn't necessarily have to do that if you don't want to. And there is a reason as to why I've done that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in that stitched edge mat that I've just cut there a moment ago. And I've gone in with Spa Blue, Crushed Velvet and Parakeet when it comes to our water reactives. Nice. And I'm just going to add some colour randomly, randomly throughout this layer. Yeah. OK. So, oh, excuse me. Zoe Carver wants to know, um, would the square ones fit through the middle or would it be a tight squeeze? So the, the detailed die itself, just mm -hmm. the detailed die, and yes, the outer die, it will, but then you are, re rest you are um, restricted to that size. Yes. So it will cut bigger, but you will need a bigger machine. So yes. to answer your question, if you want card sizes, the size of the die, yes, they'll go through the junior, they'll go through the midi, but of course, if you want to do bigger cards, boxes, anything like that, then yeah, you will need your larger machine, but they will work. With a restricted amount of concepts yes. available because of the size of the exactly. Yes, yeah. I understand. Thank you very much for that answer, Craig. Um, Mary Beth Doyle says, thank you for the shipping help, Leanne. You're very welcome, Mary Beth. Um, Mary Beth is going to be doing some shopping this week as a result of it. And that's why I wanted to do it for you, Mary. I wanted to give you all a little after, you know, like pre-spring treat when we're all mm -hmm. feeling a bit windy and miserable we all need a little bit of a treat the nights are starting to get a little are, bit lighter they, yeah. which is great there's the scent of spring in the air i thought let's just have a little sweet treat i feel we needed it i feel i needed a craig and yeah. i thought if i needed everybody else needs it so yeah yeah it's just that you need that don't you every mm. now and again certainly, certainly on a monday for me it's a happy it's a cheery monday it's lovely we've got this launch nap but still yeah. still night we still like a little treat yeah, don't we we definitely do. Yeah. I don't mind Monday. I know Bob Geldof, he hated Mondays. He did, didn't he? Yeah. The rats. Mm -hmm. Yes, they did. But I don't mind a Monday. I don't. Nope. I don't mind them at all. No, I can't say I ever get the Monday feeling. No, it's like into the new week. No. What have we got? What have we got excited? I think it's because I love coming to Crafters. I love coming to Crafters Companion. I, I love, think that's, yeah. I enjoy my job. I mm -hmm. think that's the difference, isn't it? Yeah, it, it is. It, it really does make a big difference when you enjoy coming to your work. Because I had a lovely weekend all weekend. Well, what I was in fri Friday, Saturday, I was in with Becky Swarn. So Friday, I was on that side and Becky was on this side. Then on Saturday, I was this, this side all day. Becky was on your side. And yesterday, I was on this side and Debbie Robinson done an incredible job across on the opposite side where you are, despite, you know, she was a little bit nervous but she'd done an absolute incredible job. So much so that I was originally meant to be on that side for Second Chance Sunday. And Debbie was like, Craig, I'm really enjoying it. I went, well, you do it, Debbie. You do it. I'll do your demos, Debbie, and you can do the presenting oh, side. Oh, you and sweetheart. And she had an absolute Did she love blast. it? She loved it. She was brilliant. And everyone loved seeing her on that side as well. Oh, I'll have to go and catch that up. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah. Good for you, Debbie. And, uh, to be honest, actually, John, Johnny's just saying no bloopers or anything. I think maybe I was having the bloopers when it comes to second. I think I was channeling my inner Debbie with the way some of the uh, the, the the words, the the countries, the continents were coming out instead of me instead of Debbie. So it was fun. No, oh, that is really good. I love that. I have to go and watch that back. Uh, Kerry Carney on Facebook says I have a Westie named Lord Merlin and his little sister Princess Leia. We are a Star Wars and fantasy family. Love a bit of Star Wars myself, actually, Kerry. Uh, Michelle says we have a wow. Well, she didn't say we've got a wow. We've I've got a wow. the wow in. A seventeen-pound cat named mm. Zeta. Whoa! Our oldest daughter found him ten weeks old while looking for a place to hold her sorority formal, her senior year of college. So he was named after her sorority. <gasps> 17 pounds. How many kilos is that? 2.2 pounds in a kilo. Oh, yeah. Uh, mm. uh, that's quite a large... Well, 17 pounds is more than it's 14 pounds in a stone. That's a good-sized cat. Wow. Send a picture. We need to see Zeta. Yeah, Please, pictures. send a picture. 
Jerry Johnson says, growing up we had a, we had a Chesapeake Bay Retriever named Two Bats. <laughs> My dad was a bricklayer and when he brought the dog home, dad said he was no bigger than two bats. It's a bricklayer term for half a brick. So you actually called him Two, pa two Bats, which is absolutely <laughs> fabulous. And in other news, I've just finished watching the Chesapeake series on Netflix. On Netflix. Have you seen it? What Chesapeake Shores. No. On no. Netflix, very good. I would highly recommend it. Um, Terry Anderson says, Leanne, Debbie did a phenomenal job. You'd never know it was her first time. I'm going to watch that back. Well done, Debbie. I can't wait to watch it. I'm going to watch it my lunchtime. Yes, something to watch. Mm. Something to watch. And it was nice. It was great as well. Because what's good as well is because you get two different ideas as well. Yes. You know, with De Debbie and her uh, creative mind. So it was lovely. But all that I've been doing there is done my box lid. I've done it again within my black cardstock. And then here is the layer that I've done. Now, similar to the first demonstration, you might think at first looks a little bit patchy, but then what we're going to do to start with is I'm going to go in and then I'm going to do a little bit of a drop shadow. So for me, drop shadow, I like to hover straight over the top mm -hmm. and then I, I personally, I pull down to the bottom right hand me corner. Too. You can go into whatever direction, but I yeah. think for me on my eye, it looks more pleasing. Yeah, I so agree. So pulling that down slightly to give us that drop shadow. It's incredible the difference it makes, isn't it? Isn't it, it? yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you wouldn't necessarily think it makes that difference. But then there is a reason why I've cut that whole aperture out, because once again, what I'm going to do is if I go in, and I know I apologise, the dotty tape runners are still out in stock at the moment. You can use your tacky glue, of course, with a little applicator, but I'm just going to go in with my dotty tape runner and add the detail onto there with the dots. And then I'm going to go in. And then because I've used the die, the outer die that comes with it, it's that perfect fit. Now, I'm just going to give it a light little rub at the moment. Because that's our water reactive ink, what I want to do is I just want to let that adhesive just uh, adhere to it. And then once again, the reason that you'll see that I've gone in and created that aperture, because if I set that one to the side, I think I'm going to have to take a little bit of tacky glue it's just because because i've just freshly done that although it's not like wet to touch it's still open so i yes. just need my wet glue just to grab if i left that a little bit to dry that would be fine with the wet yes. uh, dry adhesive but i'm just going to go in and i'm just i'm not going to spend too long and thing... you know what, Craig, I love that. That is a really good tip about gluing onto pieces that you've just done with Harmony Water Reactive. Because, because they do stay open a while, there is that little bit of moisture there, yeah, isn't there? Yeah, there mm -hmm. is. There really, really is. You would need to blast it with your heat gun. I like that tip. Thanks for sharing that, Craig. And it's, as well, if you are going to do it, you know, don't be put off with of my tacky glue. It's what I call, I've just sketched, Leanne. Yeah. Because you don't need Hardly a lot of anything. your tacky glue if you're using it. I mean, less is definitely more with definitely. that, Definitely. It? it really, really is. So then all that I've done is I've hovered, mm -hmm. and then I'm just going to, and I just press that for a moment. But what I've already done is that is the largest of the nesting dies that I have used for that aperture. And then that middle nesting die I have cut within black. Mm -hmm. And then the smallest nesting die I've done within the white multipurpose. And I've just gone around the edges once nice. again with the same color. And then the reason that I've cut the aperture is because when I go and put that in there, I still get that yes. frame, that halo, nice. all the way round, of course, of the Lovely. actual colour. So all that I need to do, the one thing I have also done as well, using our Gemini mini dies, I've gone in with love, and I'm going to use my tacky glue again just because, just while Leanne was chatting before, that's when I inked it up. So we're just going to go in and then add that one on to hold. I love that. I was just well, looking at that, Craig, and thinking how much I like it, and I'm just wondering... Um, you could use the glossy accents mm -hmm. to just put little drops in some of those areas and make them really quite enamelled, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, you could. Or you could. you could put in your tacky glue and some crystal glitter mm -hmm. in little spaces. That yep. would look lovely and glittery, mm, wouldn't look it? Look lovely and glittery, yeah. Or yep. you could do glossy accents and glitter. All of that. I mean, any that's, of those that's things. That's the thing. I think because 
you know, and I know they're loosely called simple creative card dies, but because we were talking about earlier on, you know, the, the detail of them, the shape of them, what that means then, you are, you're going to be more comfortable mm -hmm. in going in with your different mediums, your yes. glues, maybe your glitters, yes. your, uh, your drops, anything like that. You're going to have that comfort feeling using them. Because they're not overwhelming in they're their not, design. No, they're not, they really, really aren't. And then simply going in, I'm going to add that one on to here. And then the reason that I've gone in with that one as well is you can still read that with love. Yes. But then that black frame, it's like it's one whole big frame sentiment. Yes, it looks like it's a creator card itself. It does. And then last but by no means least, I'm going to go in with my foam pad. Now, once again, same idea with the water reactive ink. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with a little bit of tacky glue. So my foam pad will still grab onto my base layer, but because they're still open, what that just means is the glue will then seep in, it will dry in, and then I'm just going to pop that one onto there. Let's go in with a black bow to finish. You might want to put a few gems or dewdrops or anything like that, but then that is your Beautiful. dainty doodles cut in with a drop shadow, but then using that outer die as well as a back mat with your parakeet, crushed velvet, and also your spa blue. What a I absolutely love that, Craig. I think that little drop shadow and that black bow makes everything just pop does, really doesn't beautifully, it? doesn't it? And it just goes to show you, you don't have to do very much at all with no. these. They're going to look no. absolutely exceptional, aren't they? Got so many comments coming in about all of your fabulous pets. There's lots more to go through. Um, and Craig's going to get ready for his next demonstration. We're going to have a look at some of your pets. Um, and so here we go. I'm very excited about this, I have to say. This is Charlotte Everett's two little... What they, oh, uh, ragdoll cats, that was it. Absolutely gorgeous. Maximus and Leo. Aren't they beautiful? They're... They know they're beautiful, those they do. two, don't they? They really they're do. They're owning the fact that they are exquisite, and I don't blame them. Thank you, Charlotte. Um, so here we've got Monty from Alison Lee. He's a gorgeous boy. Look at him. Love Monty. <sighs> we've got Snow the Dash Hound here, um, and then Rumple the Pug from Katie McQueen. <laughs> Rumple should have been called Winston. Um, he's got his cigar there. That is, he knows. Oh, look at that. Look at him. He's absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much, Katie. Uh, Linda McDougall has sent in her gorgeous little furry family member. Um, we can't find the name, Linda, but Harvey. <gasps> Harvey the Cockapoo. What a gorgeous boy. He's watching. Hello, Harvey. Harvey, Harvey. Hello, Harvey. Hiya. Let me know if that may, let me know if Harvey responded. Hi, Harvey. Walkies. Um, sorry, Linda. Uh, oh, my word, this is Elvis. Come on, oh, Elvis. Oh. Stephen Lee guy. There is Elvis. Uh huh. Um, he looks absolutely gorgeous. I love him. Elvis, I feel, would get on with Elton, my son's whippet. I feel they would be a perfect partnership. Per perfect partner. He's absolutely gorgeous. I love him. Love him to bits. I want to cuddle them all, Craig. Yeah, I, see, I do as well, oh, I want yeah. to stroke and cuddle and sniff and give them all big loves. I love a fairy pet. Um, Right, now then, I feel you need a little break while you go and check out your baskets. If you're getting the showstopper, if you're helping yourself to a couple, if you're getting your baskets spent up, don't forget. Um, if you're just below the, se if you're in the US and you're just below the 75, which we've reduced, I've reduced for you um, over the course of the event, do pop a couple of things in your consumables, get some glue, get some cardstock, get something that you're going to need uh, and then you'll get your free shipping, which will be great and everybody's getting their triple points. So while you do your checking out, here is a little video to tell you why we believe Club Inspire is the best craft club in the world. Welcome to Club Inspire the Crafters Companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, 
exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration, and of course you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend, and the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Come on, that was really funny, Ben. You did it was better than your I'm a no when I live in a caravan. <laughs> I am a no when I live in a caravan. <laughs> <laughs> oh Can we yeah. clip that? Yeah. Everybody's gone surfing, surfing USA. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at CraftersCompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. There's a show for every type of crafter from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV, create every day. And a dash of this, uh, mm -hmm. and a squeeze of this. Uh, mm -hmm. Mix it all together, create my masterpiece. What's going on here, Ben? Are you making something? I am indeed. I am just creating a culinary masterpiece and whipping up some sweet treats for our crafty community. So if you don't mind, I've got some finishing touches to do. A voila, five days of truly scrumptious sweet surprises. Unwrap a new decadent deal each and every day between Monday the 20th and Friday the 24th of February. Oh, that looks amazing. Can I have a peek? Mm -hmm. oh. Wow, there's deals, discounts and goodies here, Ben, for every type of crafter. But we don't want to spoil the surprise right now. We've got some amazing deals and surprises right throughout the week, so you'll have to tune in each and every day, first show, to find out what they are. And extra sweet deals are going to be landing every day, so head over to Crafters Companion website where you'll find some sweet deals. Uh, I want to know where the chocolates are. Mm -hmm. Did you get a chocolate, Craig? I didn't. No. I, I didn't. didn't get a chocolate, Craig. No. And not only did I not get a chocolate, I've done the £75 minimum basket spend oh. I feel I need a bat. All they did was record a video. I'd be having words. I'm going to have words, Craig. I am. Right. Anyway, Gillian um, has also been in touch. Gillian says, you've done it again. Looking at these yesterday, I thought these were not for me. But you've shown me why I need them, Craig. Oh, that Isn't that lovely? Fun. I've Isn't even thought of using flower forming foam to bring the petals to life. Well, Gillian, I think... Where, where were you going, Craig? Were you going home? He yeah. was taking the rest of the day off. Yeah. I thought, my goodness, where's he going? Stay, <laughs> Craig! Don't go anywhere. Um, Gillian, I'm really pleased we managed to inspire you. Carol said, I love the box, it's so cute. Um, and Michelle knits for you on YouTube. She would like to know, where is that die from again? That's the With Love one. The With Love, so that is from our Gemini Mini Element. So it was, it's a, it's a couple of months old, but the latest release from our Gemini Mini came with all the tiny little alphabets and that. That's from that collection then. Oh, um, Kay Duke says, hi, Leanne and Craig. Hello. Hi, Kay. I have three dogs, but my baby boy is an 11 stone Neapolitan Mastiff called Monty. He's the same dog Hagrid had in the Harry Potter films. Oh, wow. But he acts like the village idiot. Oh, I'm sure. Do you know what? I love Mastiffs as a, I love Mastiffs as a breed. We had a bull Mastiff called Rosie. Did you? Um, before we had Minnie and Tink, yes. And she was, without doubt, hands down, the best dog in the world. Such a kind, yeah. gentle creature she was. Uh, was such a good friend to Peter when he was grown up. 
which I don't say lightly. She was absolutely gorgeous. I love, love, love Mastiffs. They're That's gorgeous. That's a size difference you've gone from then, isn't yes, it? Yes, we went from the sublime to the ridiculous. Yeah. She, um, she got a cru she tore her cruciate ligament and she had to have a tibia level and plateau operation. Um, and then her leg got very, very pooly. And when you go out for a walk trying to get an 11 stone Mastiff over a wall, or over a sty isn't easy and then in the back of the car and also she was only seven when we lost her and it was just all a bit traumatic mm -hmm. it is when you lose your fairy yeah, yeah. i mean it's lovely to celebrate your pets today isn't it but then we know what it feels like when when the it's end tough. comes it's not easy is it tough. so we thought we're going to go with terriers next because you can throw them over a wall and uh, traditionally they last longer which is why we went from the sublime to the ridiculous do they not leap as well though They're not yes they do leapers. they just jump yeah. the walls you just <laughs> lip over the styes it's yeah that was why we did it. Um, I have to just share this though. Catherine Folder on Facebook says, my nephew's three cats are called Gordon after Gordon's gin, Scrumpy after Scrumpy Cider and Martini. <laughs> I love that. I feel I need three cats. If I wasn't allergic, I need three cats in my life to call them Gordon, Scrumpy and Martini. I think that's absolutely fantastic. So that, yeah. Thank you. Please do keep sending in all of your pet related names and comments. Let me know if you've got any unusual pets, tarantula in the wardrobe, goat in the living room, you know, that kind of thing. Um, in the meantime, though, I've got another great deal for you. And this is from Monday Makers. Um, we're calling these laid edibles. Craig and I think they're a gatefold die. So this is another one where we need to... Soon to be renamed Gatefold <laughs> Dice. Um, they're really great edibles, though, I have to say, because you can use them on their own, not just in a gatefold format, but essentially they create this gatefold style for you. Um, and this is from Undermakers, and you've got a great saving on these two. You're buying four and getting one free. Um, and if you're a Platinum member, only 30.40 or 35.20 is a great price for you today. And of course, you will get your triple points as well. You're getting our scalloped circle so you can see you've got a set of dies which has the straight edge here and then when you cut it on the edge creates this beautiful shaped gatefold and of course you've got the nesting dies in the center so you've got your scallop circle you've got your ellipse frame you've got the next one here is your stylish mosaic a bit like a mosaic tile that and then you've got your deco square are they the four that you're buying and then we're going to give you the vintage ticket this one absolutely free of charge so you're buying these four getting that one free and you're only paying 30 pounds 40 or 35 20 if you're a platinum member and of course you're going to get your triple points on that as well if you are buying those today and you're not going for the showstopper deal they're not for you but these are don't forget, all you need to do is maybe put some Centura Pearl and some tape pens in your basket. You're going to be getting up towards that 75 to get your free shipping in the US. So please do have a look on the website for other consumables that you might need and get your basket up so you can get your free shipping. Why pay when you can get it for free? Craig, you're going yes. to show us how these work. I am indeed, yes. We're going to go for the square. And what we're going to do as well, for all of you that got your hands on the Daisy collection, we're going to make it a nice fresh card where we're going to be using the Daisy papers. So what I've already done here, so I've taken a piece of my large A3 multi-purpose card. You can be using your Centura Peril if you want to. And I have cut it to five and three quarters in height and then it is 16 and a half inches in length. Now I have scored at five and a quarter and then at 13 and a half. So this is going to give me this shape here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my two outer dies that we've got here. So I like to visually sit them in place and you'll see why in a moment because what we're away to do in a moment is we're actually going to open them out and flip them over. So it's a nice way to do this because if you, and I can only speak for um, experience, if you go direct into your card, sometimes there's a chance you can potentially use the wrong one because it's folding in yep. in the opposite way that you yep. think it's going to. So therefore, this is why I always like to have it sitting up right the right way first and then I know right that's the way that it's going to be yes. so then I can then and you've got your blade up. pointing down they're all pointing down yeah. ready to cut and this size in actual fact although it's a large elongated card this size will actually go through the midi 
or the junior. And then what I'm going to do is the actual die itself, so that whole die has a cutting edge all the way around, right from the tip, right to the base there. So what I'm then going to do is I'm just going to line that right up against the edge of my cardstock. And I've cut it to five and a quarter, and that's then, of course, going to be that perfect fit. So what we can then do is then bring in our plates here, and then I'm just going to go in. So it's the same plate configuration, and then let's just hold that, because I don't want it right to the edge, but on the other hand, I don't want it all the way back. And then the benefit, the large Gemini for something like this, what I'm just going to do, wait for that distinctive thud that you can hear, and then we can pause and reverse it. And then all that I need to do is then just go in with that other die that I've shown you. And this is where the it's all of ease when it comes to the layers here. Something that you could potentially do with your scoreboards and then your craft knife, but within this one, it gives you the layers for you, takes away that thinking. What it also does, it enables you to get stuck in and do the fun bit, which is the crafting, that creative side. So let's take that one. So I'm going to carefully take that one off and then carefully take that one off. And let's take that bit there, try and carefully take that so I don't take any more fibres off. And then what I'm going to do again is I'm going to go back to how I started a moment ago. I can then go in with my other die, just double checking again, it's in the right position. So that's going to be absolutely perfect. So flip that one over and I'm going to do exactly the same, line that right up because that die, that's a die edge all the way around, not just within to that deco square, but right to the tip as well. So to the edge of your card, and then we're going to run it through, Leanne. And it just makes a nice, neat edge, it doesn't does. it, Craig? It takes a lot of the, the concern. And for me, I'm really not excellent with a craft knife at all. No, I, I do, do prefer struggle. scissors, yeah. Yeah, I prefer scissors or my die. Yeah. Um, and so if I had to do that with a craft knife, it would look OK, but it wouldn't look brilliant. No. So, you know, I think it's nice to have that option. And then what's lovely as well with introducing these back in now, because, you know, you've maybe not seen them in the past. You've maybe not seen them for a while. You've maybe not seen them since we launched the template library. So many of these are now going to be a perfect add-on to your template libraries as well. Think of all the different concepts that you've got within that template library and how you can now start to incorporate the dies that you see on Crafters TV, you know, within this week, next week, going forward. But then we can take that one off. And then that's given me my card base perfectly cut, just going to give it a really good burnish. And then this is where sometimes you would think, right, yeah, but now when it comes to the mats and layers, Craig, where's, this is where it's going to be difficult. Not at all. All that I'm going to do within this one here is I have taken a piece of pattern paper. Now what I've done is I've done it my normal mat and layer way, as in I've cut it a quarter of an inch smaller. And then all that I need to do is do what I've done a moment ago. I'm just going to line my die up. If I bring in my other piece of card here, which once again, it is a quarter of an inch smaller than my base, that can sit here. And of course, these can both go on my Gemini at the same time. Absolute ease to create that gatefold. How many times in the past have you thought about creating your own one and you've had to get into the corners for the layers, that perfect layer for the gatefold? It's done for you now. Completely done. It makes it so easy, doesn't it? And you know, I love those shaped gatefolds, Craig, and the, the, the designs. And the, I was just never able with a craft knife to no. do it. And then uh, sometimes you can hang a nested die half out and put it halfway through your machine, but knock it all the way. But That's then I can never get the two sides in the perfect place. I just loved the look of it, but could never really manage to achieve it myself without it looking like I'd fudged it. That's it, and yeah. And these dies manage you to do it, it does but it obviously you. you don't look like you fudged it. No, not at all. Yeah. Not at all. And then there's nothing stopping you, Leanne. We give you these, these dies with a concept in mind, but then you get creative. Once you get them home, you can start to use them in different ways if you want to. You don't have to always use them in the same way. But what I'm actually going to do is let's put them up to the top here because you've also got your inner mat and layer dies to go with them. So this is where the decoration can come into play. So what I'm going to do, white multi-purpose and another piece of our pattern paper from that Daisy collection. And although I've used the Daisy collection here, do you know what I'm thinking these would look absolutely elegant with, Leanne? Yeah. 
Roaring Twenties. <gasps> yes. Roaring Twenties. That's 20s. a good shout. Some black with that gold, you know, with some of that gorgeous linen cardstock yes. that you've got. Could be, you know, it could be the uh, the couple just dancing there in the middle. It could be that, of course, scalloped edges. With so many different ways and different looks as well when it comes to the different collections. So let's bring I this love one it. out. I completely agree with you. There we go. And then if I bring this one out and then just carefully take that one off here. And then here you'll see your mat and layer is done perfect for you. No worrying, no getting fed up, no ripping your card, no binning it, not getting frustrated. It's there, it's done. So we can carefully take that one out as well. That's your opposite side. And then all that I've done is we'll get Isn't my Isn't it tape great runner. that you've got the die to do that? To do it all. It's incredible, isn't it? To do it all, yep. Look at how effective that is with some coloured paper. With some, that beautiful, that's the daisy collection, isn't mm -hmm. it? It is, yeah. Um, absolutely exquisite. Very little, it's, we're having a Geno moment again. Minimum effort, maximum impact, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah. Uh, they look so much... Just a bit more elegant, a bit different to the regular gatefold. It adds a bit of interest. I'd agree, yeah. It? The really, it really, really does. And this isn't stopping you, going back to what we were saying a moment ago, this isn't stopping you from getting so, so creative. What this is enabling you to do is to get that wow look. That, you know, you want that recipient. For me, what's a compliment is when, uh, although friends and family they kind of know, of course, now that I make my cards for them, but. What you want is for them to be like, wow, and be like, where did you buy that? And you're like, didn't buy it. I made it. And they're going to be shocked. They're going to be absolutely over the moon that you've made that. And you get that self-satisfaction uh, as well. But something that's done with absolute ease. And that's with these gatefold dies. So let's I love them. them. I know this is probably one of my favourite... Um, simple die launches ever just because of how easy they are to use and i mean you don't have to use them like gatefold style you could just use it as a half on one side of the card and have could, a flat yeah. shape but there's so many different things you can do with them and mm -hmm. i love the fact that you get that ability to matinee the paper without having to work all of that out yourself and you get that perfectly look at the border we can see you doing there mm -hmm. craig it's and absolutely then, incredible what about leanne strip of adhesive down the side that's now a pocket instead it's not a gatefold gorgeous it's a pocket that you've got that you can yeah. then you know just come along it could be tickets to a concert yeah. or anything Amazing. like that you know photographs so yeah 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 you've got all that option that can be incorporated Wonderful. that could be a panel on one of your scrapbook pages if you wanted it yes. to be as well Love so you've that. got all these different takes that you can then take them from card Love. making mm -hmm. to of course your projects and then all that we need to do is keeping in that lines of simplicity. How much do you love that daisy pad? Mm -hmm. Me too. I, um, when I got, uh, when I had shows with it, so I was, of course, given a collection and then I bought another two pads myself yeah. because it is, it's absolutely it's gorgeous, beautiful. It? it really, really is. It is exquisite. Um, and if you didn't grab and you're loving what Craig's doing there, go and have a look on the website. Um, see if we've got any of those daisy pads left. That's another good basket leveller for you if mm -hmm. you want, because don't forget you have got your 75. I have put my foot down with a firm hand. And you've got your 75 minimum basket spend reduced from 125 if you're in the US. So if you want to get free shipping, uh, the next four days up to midnight on Thursday is the time to do it and you will be able to just spend $75 and get your free shipping to the US and of course now that we've got the new shipping service it is getting to you faster than the blink of an mm -hmm. eye it's like we've got some kind of time warp machine two to three days from dispatch you're getting your orders in the US now with the new shipping service that we've got which I think is incredible I, I feel like we're well. beaming them over to you in the Starship Enterprise, beam them over Scotty. Um, it's getting there quick for you. So you only need to spend your $75 to be able to get your free shipping now. And it's normally 125. And of course, if you love what you've just seen our Craig do, what you can see right there, right now, which is glorious, Craig, 
really really beautiful i love it and you want to get some of those uh wonderful edgeable dyes there which in fact Craig and I have agreed our gatefold dies. Yeah, um, then you can do that and use it as part of your 75 basket spend to get your free shipping. Let's just remind ourselves of how gorgeous these are. Um, and then we'll have a little remind ourselves of the uh, launch and the showstopper deal that we've got for you. So you're going to buy, you're buying four and you're getting one entirely free. You're going to be buying the scalloped circle that you can see here. You're going to get the ellipse frame. I love that rectangle inside of a square. I just think it looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, and then you're going, but having said that, can I just say, you're not restricted to doing it in a square. No, no. Because the die itself, you can do that in a taller five by seven rectangular card. All of these will work on any shape of card for you. Then you've got your stylish mosaic. We can see there. Then you've got your deco square. You're buying those four, and then we're going to give you the vintage ticket for absolutely free of charge. So you're only paying, if you're a platinum member, £30.40 or £35.20. And of course, because it's our sweet treat event and you'll get a new sweet treat every single day, you're going to get your triple points with that spend as well, regardless of where in the world you're shopping. If you're a US customer, up until midnight on Thursday, I have negotiated a £75 minimum basket spend for you. It's a personal gift from me to you. So do please take advantage of that as well. They're the fabulous laid edges that we've just shown you. Uh, Craig's just shown you how to use. Absolutely exquisite. Now, one of my absolute favourite things that we have launched in the last 13 years um, of working with Crafters Companion, developing product, is this stamping form. I absolutely love it um, and to have the deal that we've got for you today where you get both of them and of course you're getting your triple points you're getting your heat tool and you're getting your stamping form for 23.98 or 29.52 is exceptional value for money it really is now we've got two um, different orders it's on the same one is it okay so you're going to order that but then the us so if you're in the us we'll send it from our us warehouse because your power voltage is different to us in the uk so we'll just ship it to you separately we're going to work that out for you so don't you worry you just order what you see on the screen you'll get the correct tool for the country that you're in now if you're wondering what stamping form is you're going to get four pieces in here um, and you get four lovely kind of little rectangle wedges of foam now why you need your heat tool is that you heat this and when you heat it it becomes softer and more moldable it will take impressions and when it takes the impressions you create your own background stamps and when i say you create your own background stamps look at these can you believe that that was just a piece of fine lace that we've pushed the warm foam into it's created the impression in the foam and then we've inked it up and stamped it and created that background for you it's absolutely magic look little resin flowers screws and nails wooden embellishments a stencil how many stencils have you got at home literally how many stencils have you got at home would you like to create a stamp from every stencil you own this will do it for you little mini pegs a knitted top warm it up go and attack someone in the house and that's what you're going to be able to create <laughs> it's great isn't it yeah, a isn't knitted that? top um, stamp zips again warm it up go and attack someone in the house put the zips on there you've got that lovely background buttons out of your button box uh, a background metal die so all of the metal dies all of your creator cards all of those patterns that you've got push the warm foam into your creator card metal die look you're creating a stamp of that design sequins background stamps cotton lace round head pins an embossing folder i mean the list just keeps going on and on and on uh, coins money keys just honestly metal embellishments Bands, yeah. elastic bands i love that look how that is. i mean great for doing masculine cards as well bubble wrap string what else have we got in here i can hardly believe it there's so so much um Pasta spirals, raid the food cupboard. <laughs> How fantastic. Twigs, Twigs from the garden. I mean, get some leaves. 
get some leaves that are off the trees and yeah. do some leaf stamps shells absolutely fabulous what have we got here uh, a scoring That's board my oh my one. word i love that one how Leanne. good's that i love doing that with a scoring board that's incredible a hessian fabric a metal chain leaves oh there they are there the leaves look skeleton leaves get them out the garden off the trees paper clips and looks like we've got one more scrunched tin foil another one of my favorites ha all of that i mean and then there'll be so many things that we haven't done what else can you find and you're getting four i must just show you there four pieces inside that box of that form so you're going to be able to create your own custom stamps when and then by my by the way it's not one and done it's not create a stamp and then you're stuck with it heat it up again um and it will go back to full mm -hmm. fully flat so that you can go make another stamp reuse 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 it's absolutely incredible our heat tool is of the highest quality i must just show you it's that beautiful sleek design you've got the little stand on the bottom there so you can stand it in the hot part doesn't touch the table when you're using it and you've got your dual speed dual heat here for the different types of effects you want to create very comfortable in your hand as well and whisper quiet it is, it is. does not sound like a jet engine taking off this heat tool lots of heat tools do ours is absolutely whisper quiet so it's great for not disrupting everybody else in the home when you're using it you're getting both of them for 23.90 at 29.52 great saving on them of course you will get your triple points and you can make all of those custom stamps from anything you can find rattling around in the house it's absolutely incredible all of them it really is fantastic i i love that i have there to is, say can i just say as well though Leanne, there, is a, there is a warning though there What's is a the warning one then warning warn away because what you will do is you will be looking around the house yeah looking around the car the garden the he shed, the she shed, the craft room, the kitchen, you'll be looking around everywhere as to what you can, what you can do, do your impression. It's that like what if, isn't it? What, what, if, what, yeah. will, what will it look mm -hmm. like? Ooh, what if? Yeah, what can I do? It's great for reinvigorating. If you've lost your mojo, Craig, it's great for reinvigorating, isn't it? To just do something simple mm -hmm. like that um, and find some different things around the house and you will absolutely love them. Now, you are adoring this showstopper deal that we've got for you on this brand new launch of these. We're calling Simple Creative cards but now we've agreed they should be timeless creator cards or classic creator cards because that's exactly what they are you can see you're getting all six of the dies you can see there uh, plus you're getting your two ink pads which is anthracite and parakeet and you're getting your permanent tape pen and you're getting that for the excellent price of 58.37 or 67.84 if you are a platinum member if you are a platinum member Please pop something small in your basket to get you up to the 75 uh, with this order because doing that will get you your free shipping um, and that will last for you up until Thursday. These are Thursday midnight. These are the designs uh, that we've got for you. You've seen Craig do two fabulous demos with them this morning um, and I'll just take you through them. So you've got your timeless foliage. You can see you can cut it in as a create card with your nests or you can use it as a decorative panel if you'd like to. We've got our fancy floral, which I absolutely love. We've got our rose garden. I always want to burst into the song. I never promised you a rose yes. garden. Mm -hmm. oh, what film does that pardon. remind me of now? Who sang that? It's got to be a little rain sometimes. Mm -hmm. Da, 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 da. Is it Tammy Wynette or Billy Joe Spears? I think it might be Joe. Tell us in the comments who sang that who song. Sang if you it? didn't even know what I was singing, because it's not one of my skills. Um, and then we've got Daddy Doodles. Johnny tells me that the Google says it was Lynn Anderson. I do love that song. It's a good song. It music. is a good one. This is my favourite, Dainty Doodles. Absolutely love it. Um, and then you're getting your traditional tiles as well. And you're getting your pretty petals. I do think that one might be the contender to the Dainty Doodles throne for me. I yeah. do love it. Maybe then, because when I was driving home yesterday, I had an idea with that one. As soon yeah. as I got home, if you've seen me on my Insta story, you will know that I went straight into my craft room with that one and uh, prepped a demo. So it's, it's got a few layers to it. So we'll maybe do that later in until launch day okay. later on because we're combining quite a few oh, we'll things. Look, so, oh, yeah. I look forward to that. I can't mm -hmm. wait. Oh, that's a little sneaky peek if ever I heard one. I'm excited about that. So this is your showstopper deal. 
you are getting your two ink pads and your tape pen with it as well um, and of course your triple points and do get your basket spent up if you are a platinum member if you're not a platinum member you're probably already going to be there with the price you can see there 72.96 or 84.80 but if you're not pop something in and get yourself to that 75 everybody's getting their triple points craig yes. have you got something else to show us with these i do yeah i thought what we can do is we can have some fun now we're going to use the traditional tiles now this is going to be good for uh for uh, the little boys okay you might see what i'm going to show you and you think the girls will like it as well of course they will but there's a lot of texture to it and few layers but it's very very simple the other thing i'll be using throughout launch day a lot and i uh, have a look on the website and uh, stock up if we have it in stock if if not, then just uh, pop your email address in for uh, you to go under the waiting list. But Johnny's going to check for it. It's our uh, for us. It's our double-sided adhesive sheets. These are going to be a helping hand as well when it comes to our new collection. So what I've done is I've taken some of this gorgeous linen cardstock. This one was from the uh, delightful Daisies. Just to say, Johnny's letting us know that it is in stock. So uh, stock up on some of that as well. It's your double-sided adhesive sheets. So I've got my linen cardstock from the Daisy collection here and what I've done is I've put a layer of that double-sided adhesive sheet over the top. The, the other thing I've, already, I've got as well, Leanne, is we've got our heavyweight acetate on the show mm -hmm. and I've cut, it comes in A5, mm -hmm. but I've cut it to five and a half by six inches. Lovely. So five and a half by six inches and then mm -hmm. what I've also done is I've scored at half an inch mm -hmm. so I've created my little, little tab bit. at the top Lovely. there so then what I'm going to do with this one now for this one you've got your linen card you've got your adhesive layer and you've got your non-stick backing so I'm going to put in my metal shim for this one so we're going to go in I'm going to use both the layers once again so we're going to add these ones in I'm going to go in with my low tack tape the plate configuration in general is the same. I'm just adding in that metal shim. Just lining that one up. I'm going to leave the aperture in the middle at the moment because we're going to build on that just shortly. And then what we can then do, go in, plastic, magnetic, and then I'm just going to tighten them up. We're going to run them one through. And what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to let it go through. Because we've got that metal shim in, I know that it's going to uh, cut to perfection. Once again, I'm doing it because you've got your adhesive sheet layer, plus you've got that non-stick backing as well. So we just want to make sure it's got that nice, crisp, clean cut. But as that one then comes out, what we're left with is our beautiful traditional tiles. So we can set that one there. And then I'm just going to work my way around take these ones off and if i take them on take them ones out what we've then got is we've got our design but we've essentially we've made a lovely big sticker which is going to be a godsend when we come to stick onto acetate yeah so this is going to be a really good one to use so what we've got those double-sided adhesive sheets are fantastic for that aren't they they are aren't they yeah mm -hmm. they really really are mm -hmm. certainly with with the acetate i love using them for the acetate and then what i'm going to do here leanne is i'm going to go in now i'm going to go onto my acetate first so i'm going to go in peeling the back off and with ours as well can i just say ours come like a dream mm -hmm. an absolute dream they come off and then let's see see if we can make that a little bit easier for you to see all that i'm doing essentially is i'm just going to line it up because that square of acetate mm -hmm. i've got is the same size now yes. as our uh, die cut piece we so understand i'm just going to line up so i'm going to go in that way because i want my tab to be along the top so we're going to go into here you're very brave line up. <laughs> i wouldn't <clears throat> you're brave i wouldn't have dared do that um i no. would have probably peeled back a little bit of that corner, lined it up on two edges, do you know what I mean? And then yeah. whip the sticker away underneath because I would have I would have struggled to do that. Because you do that with your red liner, don't you? I do that with my bit, red liner, yeah. yes. A little because bit. I, I panic. And that's and you know, and if you do panic, then yeah. that's a great, great thing to do. Yeah. It's a really good thing to that do. That looks amazing. And then what we've got is we've got that perfect adhesive layer all the way round. And then what I'm going to do as well is if I bring in these ones, so I'm going to cut these ones just in a moment. So black, 
same linen cardstock and a bit of white. But then I thought for this one there, let's have a bit of fun. So dive into, you've all got stashes of gems and pearls and that at home. And just happens, the ones in my stash are self-adhesive. But what I'm going to do, I always like to do this, is just put a little bit of our tacky glue. And I'm going to go into selective bits, but you've got options when it comes to yes. this one here. Options. It could be it could be your glossy highlights, little domes of glossy yes. highlights with your glitters. If you've got your glitter glues, of course, it could be them. Mm -hmm. It could be actual gems if you want it to be. But because I'm going to go in with a, a black layer, I'm going to go in with some of my nice. black. Little, little gems there, little they look gems. lovely, classy, I really like that. Um, I have to say, we've gotten so many comments, everybody's absolutely adoring your demonstrations, Craig. Um, L McD on YouTube says, Leanne, I'm so glad Harvey didn't respond to your walkies because it's <laughs> oh. pouring outside. Yeah, I'm glad too. Um, I won't say it again, I promise you. Um, Zoe Carver, she says, when I started keeping chickens, we named them Nugget, Coma and Kentucky. I love that one. <laughs> have too many chickens and ducks now to name them all. Won't be long until it'll be time to get my incubator out again for new little chicks. That's fabulous, Zoe. Thank you. Um, Chantel says that she agrees with you, Craig. This dye would be great with the Roaring Twenties. It would be like opening the club... That's the edgeables that we've just done. Oh, yeah. Would have been like opening the club doors to see the, da the dancers inside doing the Charles. It would, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that be great? That would be really um, good. Marcia wants to know when the reduced $75 shipping is ending. Marcia, it ends at midnight on Thursday. So you've got all day today, all day Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday till midnight to take advantage of that uh, deal that I've demanded, demanded on your behalf, where your minimum spend is now 75 and you'll get free shipping to the US. So I uh, take advantage in the next four days. It's had $50 knocked off the minimum basket spend. So... I'm, I'm very proud of myself for you should that be. for you, I have to say. You should be, for sure. Definitely. Such a great thing to do. It really is. They really look great, up. Craig, don't they? Do you know how I feel that looks a bit... Um, I'm getting the feel of, like, you know, like a trellis inside a church. A trellis, it's yeah. It's almost a bit like if you... You know, if you like to do cards of faith or yeah. sympathy cards... Yeah, that's I'm right. I'm getting that feeling of that, that really ornate fret woodwork Definitely. inside of... Um, Definitely, yeah, you've got the churches. And that's the thing as well, Leanne, it's depending on even something as simple as the colour can make it look different or yeah. it'll make you see something, something different. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to do all of these ones, I, I thought. I have to say, sorry, Craig. No, that's OK. So Rene, Rene Vi Virus Honeycutt on Facebook says, we only have to order 75 to get free shipping and a question mark. OK, so I'm just going to... I think everybody thinks it might be April the 1st, and it's not. So I'm just going to say to you all, in the US, free shipping. So usually your shipping to get free shipping is $125. And with the new service that we've got, you're getting it in two to three days. That's the standard usually. Because I wanted to do something good for you, because I wanted to give you a treat this week, along with our sweet treat events, I have gone and negotiated for you for a limited time that you will be able to access free shipping on a minimum basket spend of only $75, which is $50 less than your usual $125. So for the four days until midnight on Thursday, you will only need to spend across any event, any show, anything on the website. Even if you don't like what you're seeing in the shows and you just want to go on our website and shop yourself $75 worth of things, you will get free shipping on those $75 worth of things until midnight on Thursday. It's not a drill. It's not a joke. I'm not pulling your leg. It's certainly not April the 1st. It's not April Fool's. It's an actual, real, sweet treat deal that I have negotiated for you personally for the next four days. So you hear me right when I say hear it's you not right. the $125, it's $75, and you can go for anything, not just on a CTV show, anything on our website. Fill up your boots to the 75 and get free shipping. And if you do that on Monday, 
and on Wednesday you think, oh, but I want those things, you can do it again. We're not going to restrict you to a one-time access. I never thought of that. So if you want to do that because you see several things, we've got a cartload on Wednesday, I'm going to be here with Debbie with you. If you do your 75 ship today and then you see some more stuff in cartload and you want to, you won't be precluded from that. You will be allowed to use that deal again as many times as you like up till Thursday at midnight. And when we get to Thursday at midnight, it'll go back to the $125 free shipping. It's going to get you there in the same speed, speedy Gonzales as we are now, two to three days. But you've got that 75 minimum basket spend for the next four till midnight on Thursday. Okay, Brilliant. sorry, Craig. I no, just wanted to make sure that everybody understood. Don't apologise yet. I was just taking these these bits off, so we're absolutely Thank fine. Yes, yeah, key that we we know all that info. That's for sure. Just to say as well, this non-stick backing that's come off, don't bin that. Go onto Pinterest and YouTube and Google and search the techniques that you can use for your uh, non-stick backgrounds because you can use these with stencil inks and pastes and all that different things. So keep a hold of them. Now this layer of white card, five and a half by five and a half, matte and layered with a little bit of black and my white multi-purpose. I've used our red liner tape and then all that I'm going to do is I'm just going to slot that one into here and then I'm going to press. So we're going to press that one in. Now that alone could be your card blank. So you've got your, because we've used our, our construction acetate, that is heavy enough for that to be the card blank itself. But what I am just going to do is I want that front component to be a separate component, meaning what I'm still going to do is I'm going to go in with six by six card blank that I've got, and I'm going to mount that one on into place here, pop that one on, I'm going to press, and then taking these layers, the mats and layers that I've just cut from, of course, the centre of the traditional tiles. Black one, I'm going to go in flat. The orangey yellow, I've gone in with foam pads. And then the white is, well, the white. What I've also done, we've got our slide and pop dies coming up later on, or a slide dies. So this <gasps> is to the stars. So what I've done, Leanne, is I've uh, die cut to the stars and I'm going to cut right up the middle. And this is going to, what this is going to do, and it'll come apart in a moment, it's going to elongate your eye, the focal point of your eye. And I'm going to go in with, let's go in just a couple of little foam pads to finish off. So take these ones, add these ones in. So I'm going to pop that one onto the back there. I'm going to pop that one to the back. So if I then take this half, and then I'm going to go, right to the edge and then if I take this half and come down into here and then yesterday on second chance Sunday we had our sentiment stamp and dies so I'm just using thanks not using the stamp that comes with it just thanks on its own and then you've got another lovely card that you can see here and then the one I'd already did, the only difference with the one I'd already done, because I didn't want to spend loads of time putting loads of perils on yes. there. But then Craig, going in. I think that's absolutely exquisite. It's understated elegance. Yes. True. Yes. It's really understated elegance. I think it really shows the quality of the die, but obviously doesn't take away. It's that max, minimum effort, maximum impact, isn't it? It really is. I love a little bit of monotone mm -hmm, in a card, mm -hmm. and I think that little half star of either side yeah and it's just pulling you're, you're seeing the thanks but what it's doing it's not leaving this bare it's just Correct. traveling that eye Gorgeous. so if you do look at the thanks first it lets your eye kind of naturally just pull out and you see that full of focal beautiful composition and execution of that craig i absolutely love it thank you so much now remember your Showstopper deal is all six dies and for an extra five pounds or five dollars you're getting in there your two ink pads and your tape pen which you can see on the screen um really great deal if you're a platinum member only 5837 for all six dies or 6784 and of course that includes your two ink pads parakeet and anthracite and your tape pen that you can see here as well your permanent tape pen completely um included in that bundle and you're getting your triple points with that which is superb craig have you we're going to do demo of the show 
have you got oh look at these you've been cooking on gas today craig i love it look at you we've been had the whip out right so number one was that beautiful orange and it was gold. and just exquisite love that one number two was the drop shadow it was number three daisies delightful daisies Great and gold. number four was that beautiful on acetate gorgeous composition one two three four which one is your favorite one in the show um if i was voting craig i would be voting it would be hard for me it would be between number one and number three number one or number three mm. one or the other yeah number one because i just think it's exquisite but that number three I do like number three. Yeah, it's nice and subtle. It is nice, nice and subtle. Yeah. So get your votes in. Let us know what your favourites are. Um, I've got a couple of good days. So I'm going to show you the, the gnomes here. I've just got to say, Chantelle says, great tip for lining up your acetate. Butt it up against the lip on your scoreboard. Really and then tip. take your thing to... Great idea. Thank you, Chantelle. Uh, Miriam says, Leanne, thank you for the reduced spend to get free shipping. Much appreciated. Miriam, you're very welcome. It's my absolute pleasure. Um, I am a shopper and I know what it's like to get a little bonus freebie in there. It's nice and a little bonus mm -hmm. to not have to spend as much. Right, now then, this is a half price day we've got for you here. Um, and you know how much I absolutely, if you've seen me and Ben do the shows, you will know how much, oh, my caravans fell off. Get back on there, how dare you. Yeah, you will know how song. much um, I absolutely love these. If you've seen Ben and I doing shows together, I adore them. And so you've got everything I'm about to show you for 27, 20 or 32, 80. And of course, your triple points as well. Um, and so it's a half price. Oh, honestly, it's off on its journey. It's going away for the weekend, the little caravan. Let's move on. Look, you are getting that caravan stamp and die there so you're getting that in the bundle you can lie down there because you're being naughty you're also getting the swing to put your little characters on and with the swing you just see there you can see the little hands so you can put your character on top and the feet so you can make your character sit on the swing um, leave them out they're separate dies and stamps if you don't want to use them if you want a beautiful swing on your card you can use them separately you're getting um this fabulous set here which are your accessories you've got your little pond you've got your little gnome home sign your little wheelbarrow and flowers etc etc so you're getting stamps and dies for those and actually they'll work with any of the cute characters you've got at home you don't have to use those with gnomes that's just great for making a composition on your card front we've got here um now just what does svetlana that's what Ben calls her. There we go. I knew it would come back. We've got Svetlana there with her fairy wings, her little flower pot, her little watering can, her little campfire, um, and a s'more. She's loving a s'more and her sunglasses. So you've got the stamp and die set and the stencils. So you can give her a little patterned dress as well, perfectly sized to match her hat and dress to give the patterns on there. And ZZ. We've got ZZ here. Um, and he's got legs and he knows how to use them. He's got his glasses, he's got his little barbecue, his fishing rod. Um, absolutely fabulous. I love him. And again, he's got the stencils too, so you can pattern up his outfit. Uh, we've got our stamps, which are perfect for sending your gnome cards. Home sweet gnome, there's gnome one like you. You know, hello, some of you've got some nice generic ones in here too. There's no place like gnome. Really great. There's, what's that say? There's no better time, no better time than summertime. I wish you were here. Really great sentiments for the seasons which are about to come up. And then, as you know, you've heard me say several times, my favourite embossing folder and stencil that we've ever done, ever in the history of Crafters Companion, the end. Because it's just such a happy, happy design that can be used on its own. It can be used to ground your characters, use other cute characters that you've got at home, just send happy summer to someone, feel better soon. It's got such a happy feeling about it. I absolutely love this 3D folder and stamp. You're getting all of these for 27.20 or 32.80 plus your triple points. Oh, clever. That line has come off now and all. We'll have to get some, some permanent tape pen out. Um, and you're getting all of these plus your triple points, which I think is a fantastic deal. Um, and you're saving half price on that, which is great. So a 50% saving plus your triple points is exceptional. 
Now, you've also got 60 sheets here of our Centura Pearl. I've just taken this purple out because I like you to see how beautiful that shine is on there. It's absolutely glorious as I twist and turn that. It just catches the light uh, and that's on the purple. So you're getting your purple, 10 sheets. You're getting your fuchsia, 10 sheets. Your cherries, the 15% saving you've got here. Your mink, my two favorite colors of Centura Pearl. Hot chocolate, yes please, and black pearl. And I've just taken a sheet of the black pearl out to show you. They're taking the Mickey out of me saying black pearl. Look, like Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, look how amazing that is. Honestly, the shine on there, the pearlescence on there is absolutely incredible. 310 GSM. You've got your uh, white on the back for your box making or using for your card bases. Die cuts beautifully for your sentiments. All 60 sheets for £16 or $28 and you're saving 15%. That's a great basket leveller. That's a consumable that you're always going to need. So if you're just below that $75 um, to get your minimum spend to get your free shipping in the US, get yourself some cardstock. You're never going to not need cardstock, are you? And then that gets you up for your free shipping. Now, demo of the show. Okay. Oh, it's not quite in. Is it in? Oh, hang on. We're coming in a minute. Oh, we've got it. Ready? It was very close. Do you want to have a guess, Craig? Um, number one. Number one it is, is Craig. It? Yes, number it one. is. Number one is demo of the show. I'm not surprised. It's absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. Oh, have I got... Hang on. Oh, sorry. Oh. Sorry, Craig. I apologise now. We need to do the terms and conditions where the presenter apologises for making a faux pas live on air. I apologise to you, Craig. That's okay. To the producer, Johnny, and to every viewer this morning. Apologise to my mother for letting her down <laughs> by being slapdash, reading the comments. My husband and my son have been terribly shoddy. Uh, it's actually number three. Number three. Number, number one three. was very, very close right. though, Craig. Very close. They were gorgeous. Um, but number three just pipped you to the post just there. Pipped it to the post. It is beautiful, there isn't it? It's gorgeous. Yes. Lovely, lovely. Thank fresh you very card. much. Now, I have to say, CJ's paper graph says, are we going to see some more photos of our fur babies? I'm just going to come back to launch day because, um, in the words of Jamie, it's difficult getting those photos uploaded. Um, but we're going to do it for you. We're going to work it. We've had loads of them and we're going to get loads of them montaged for you and we'll show you in launch day. We'll definitely show you some more pictures of fair babies because it is National Pets Day today, isn't it? I've got Elton. Uh, I'll show you Elton in launch day too. Craig, what are yes. you going to be doing for us in launch day? Right, Tio. So while you were just uh, going over everything, Leanne, I was getting myself sorted. So we're going to we're going to do some concepts. We're going to do some trifolds. We're going to do some paper piecing. We're going to do some colouring in. We're going to do some gilding flakes. We're going to do some stenciling with them as well. We're going to have a crafty hour, crafty two hours when it comes to the launch of our new simple creative card dies. Lots of techniques planned. I'm really excited. We're going to have a great time. Craig and I are going to get it. Going to get a cuppy. And some lunch, aren't we, Craig? We have are a little sandwich. We're going to have a little catch up because I haven't seen each other for a while. Betty Weaver says, Leanne, stop showing the Centura repel. Laugh out loud. It's gorgeous, isn't it, Betty? You need it. Everybody needs that in their basket today because it's such a good deal. Um, and so many of you, I have to say, Pamela, thank you, CJ, Brenda, Betty, Chantel, Miriam, Renee, Gareth, Miriam, Michelle, Suzanne, Janet, Charlotte, Marcia. I mean, Zoe, the list goes on. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. We've had a blast this week of call. Um, you've loved the showstopper, so please do help yourself to that um, in the next hour if you'd like to. And come back and see some amazing inspiration from the legend Craig Laird himself. He'll be showing us some gorgeous stuff, I'm sure. Uh, see you in an hour. Really looking forward to it. Get a cup of tea and some lunch and um, see you back soon.